Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I'll show you how you can set up a live event on Microsoft Teams. But before to jump in, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. The COVID pandemic crisis has generated a massive use of online tools to deliver content such as webinars, company results, virtual conferences. Let's see together how you can set up this nice piece of feature on Microsoft Teams. Okay, let's go. Here I am on my PC. Let's see now how to set up a live event on Microsoft Teams. First thing to do is check the configuration that we have on our tenant. So open the admin Teams portal and check under meetings, live events, policies, the global policies that you have. So if you want to deliver your live event to anybody, you have to select everyone from this drop-down who can join scheduled live events. You have also the ability to select when record a live event, always, never, or this can be done only by the organizer. Okay, now this configuration looks good for me. I will go forward. I will open it. I will open Teams with my uh, admin account in my calendar. Now I will set up this live event. So from this drop down, you can select live event from here, and let's say that I want to create super. conference. My intention is to deliver a virtual conference. And then I will select here the presenter. In this case it's Wonder Woman. So now I would like to, to give you more details about the, the permission here. The organizer has full control of the live event. The presenter can join the live event and can share is screen or share a presentation for example and then we have the attendees let me go now next you, here I have the possibility to target the live event to specific people or groups or org wide for example I need to uh, communicate to all employee the quarter result of the company or if I want to deliver a virtual conference, it makes sense, or a webinar, for example, it makes sense to, to select public. Let me select now public. And this means that anybody can join this live event across a specific link. No sign-in is required. We have other option here. So the recording available to attendees, captions, this is another cool feature in preview. So you can pick up the language, the spoken language, and then you can translate and deliver the, the content in several languages as well. Then there's the attendee engagement report. This is very important because, because you can analyze later on the engagement of the attendee, what kind of interaction they, they made in the, during the live event, question and answer, let me enable also the question and answer. Okay, I'm gonna schedule now this live event and theoretically I'm ready I'm ready to deliver this and broadcast this, this event. Okay, it's really important now to save immediately this link. Uh, we'll copy this link because you can use this link to send uh, in a second time, for example, an email to all potential attendees about this live event. I already copied this link on my OneNote, so then I will join now this live event as an organizer. Join. Here we go. And then we will have this, we will land on this uh, screen. As you can see here, we have the queue slot and here is what is you are preparing before to go live and in this other section there is the live event so the, you can see here 
what is going live. Then we have other option here. We will see this later. Then here I can also change the, the template of this screen. I can add my video here, add video from below. Here I, here I am. So you can, for example, share your screen or your presentation. And on the right side, the attendees will see your face. So now let me select this kind of, of view. Let me remu remove the camera because now I will join this live event as Wonder Woman. I have another PC here. I will join this fantastic live event because I need to share a presentation now. Let me select also a background in order to go live properly. Okay, here I am as a Wonder Woman and I will select now this fantastic presentation. I will share this presentation. Okay, now as our organizer, what I can do is select the screen of Wonder Woman. We are not live yet, not yet. So then Wonder Woman is ready, ready to go. Everything looks good. I can send live. So now the queue will move on live event, but the event is not started. In order to start the event, you need to click on the button start. So here we have some recommendation that the event can last up to 16 hours from start time and attendees will watch at 10, 20 seconds late. Okay, looks good. I will continue and now we are live, as you can see. Now I will join this live event as attendee. Let me open in incognito mode another browser instance. I will copy the and paste the, the link here to join this event but with the web version of Teams. So now you will see that we will have the option to sign in into Teams or just join anonymously. So I will click on it. And now this is the view of the attendee. So I can see the presentation from Wonder Woman. And I have other option here I can ask uh, a question or I can I can see my question so I can select a name here Jill then I can also decide to post as anonymous and then I can say I have a question we will see later how it looks like okay so then let me jump now from the organizer perspective because I have other option here available. So first of all, I can, I can have a look to the health and performance of my live event. I can see several information. Then I have this option to see the live event question and answer. This is pretty cool. So I can see that I have a question from anonymous attendee is coming so I can decide to publish or not I will publish so then the presenter can can see and eventually can answer to this question then I can also step in go in this uh, option meeting notes I can take a notes and then I have the the chat so the chat is only available for organizer and presenters so maybe they need to conversate about to how to deliver the, the event, what kind of presentation um, to do and, and so on. Then we have the people here. I can I can see the, the people that are presenting in the in the event. And finally I have the settings so I can change the audio device, the speaker, the volume, the surface camera from, my live caption attendee live event and so on so these are the information available now important mention 
to do is that you can deliver for the moment a live event only across the desktop application of Teams. It's not yet possible via web version. This is uh, important to, to remember. I can also go forward, of course, with the presentation. So I can change my slide with Wonder Woman. So as you can see, the, the queue change and also the live event. So this is the slide that I can change again the slide and this is the, the slide that for the moment it's is live. Not yet for the for the attendee because there is a small delay, 20 seconds, but then this should be available. Yeah, as you can see now is the, the presentation is changing. And finally, we will see also the, the slide that for the moment is, is live. There we go. All right, we have seen in this tutorial step-by-step step how to set up a live event on Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below. I hope to see you next time. Bye.